Not long now, just a couple of days, and I'm going to be heading out uh, on a bike tour for the first time in 40 years. So I'm a little bit nervous, but excited at the same time. My plan is to head out from a home here in Nakanrachisima in the north of Thailand. I'm going to head due east until I hit Ubon Rajatani. If that goes well, I hope to continue all the way to the Mekong River, which is about another 100 kilometers due east. From that point, I'll carry on north, hugging the river, which is the natural barrier with Laos, all the way around to Nong Kai, and I'll then catch a train and get back here to Nakanrachisima. I'm quite happy if I make it to Ubon Rajatani, but it would be absolutely brilliant if I could make it all the way to Nong Kai. So, I'll get started in a couple of days and let's see how I get on. So I've had a good break now. I've actually got a decent bit of road. It's the first nice piece of road I've had pretty much since I've left home. It's been a lot of single track dirt roads, even quite sandy, so this is pleasant. I'm refreshed, found some water, which was great. I don't know how I managed to go 30 k's from home without finding somewhere to get water, but when I stopped, I went another kilometre and sure enough, there were another four shops in a row. <laughs> oh dear. So this is quite nice. It's lovely, lovely, silky smooth road. Nothing on the road, super quiet. Just passing a temple in the background there. Uh, this is very, very, very pleasant. Uh, I'm sat in this quiet little temple here, keeping my voice down. Behind me is the crematorium, um, basically where you go when your days are finished. It's quite ornate and there's some quite nice ones. Um, anyway, here it is. Yeah, that's probably where I'll end up in Hopefully um, not, not, not too soon. Okay, I feel really tired. Uh, please for the sit down, gonna have some water, another orange and then head off. It's day one, things have not really gone to plan. I'm now sat in the grotto wonderland of a petrol station cafe. I'm having a cup of coffee. It's six o'clock at night, I've lost the lights. Um, fortunately, what happened is the accommodation I had booked, which was halfway between my house and um, Bury Run, fell through. So the situation is I thought, okay, I'll carry on. There are some small hotels that are not actually on the uh, maps 
Uh, so I thought, okay, I'll probably find one of those. I'll soldier on for another 10, 20 k's. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. I didn't find anywhere. I'm now 30 k's down the road. Um, it's dark and I'm going to end up riding in the dark for about an hour and a half. And I'm probably going to end up having to go to Buriram unless I find somewhere uh, between here and there. So it looks like I'm going to have a cup of coffee and then yeah, I'm going to be riding in the dark. Uh, first day, things haven't worked out as planned. Uh, I've been cycling for an hour now. My light, my bike behind, it's lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, but I've got one more trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna be cycling. I'm gonna be cycling with my full beam on.